about a month ago, I'm sitting in the office and I start to have extremely severe left arm pain. My chest, I can feel my heart actually fluttering and I become very, very lethargic. And of course I fall back in my chair. And while I'm laying there in my chair, I'm conscious, you know, I, I got a pretty good idea of what's going on. I am a former EMT, I'm a former uh, level one EMS instructor here in the state. And I got a good idea of what's going on, but that actually scared me because I'm very young. And I truly thought I was having a heart attack. What's up guys, it's Ron again from Lake Acre Scuba Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are gonna be notified every time we upload new content. Now today's video is gonna be extremely short, but I do wanna focus on the medical waiver and why it's so important that you are honest on this medical waiver. First and foremost, let's talk about the security of this waiver. I know a lot of people are afraid to put their medical information out there and I get it, I completely understand, uh, but let me explain why you still need to be honest with it. First of all, this medical waiver has two purposes. First and foremost, it's for you. It's for you to do a basic assessment of yourself, a medical assessment of yourself, to find out whether or not you are healthy enough to go diving. Nobody knows you better than you, so it's best that you answer these questions truthfully. Number two, it is for your instructor or any other dive professional that will be training you. There are certain things they need to know truthfully about you before they take you underwater. If there's any concerns or contraindications that would dictate you not being safe while diving or even during just training in general, they need to know that before they take you underwater. So what about the safety of it? Are these forms secured? Yes. Yes, it is an honor system, but I can tell you right now, I've never met an instructor that took this form and sold it on the black market or gave it to anybody else. There are certain exceptions where we can release the information such as Maybe if I'm training you, I'm your instructor, and something happens and I can't continue your training, if I transfer you to another instructor, they're gonna have access to this. Or if we get audited by our training agency, they're gonna have access to that. But outside of that, we don't release this information to anybody. So now that we've kind of nipped that in the bud, and we, we understand that they are secure, your medical information is not getting spread out there, let's talk about why it's important to be truthful on there. There's so many things in life that we want to do that for some reason medically we may not be able to do um, and this is strictly for your safety so I know a lot of people will probably lie on this form and put no's when they should put yeses we all know if you put a yes that means you simply can't take a class until you get a medical sign off or a doctor sign off and a lot of people maybe don't have insurance they don't want to go to the doctor's office or whatnot but it's all about your safety and, and at the end of the day it's nothing really important it's just your life get the medical sign off if you need it don't rush your course um, which is part of the reason i'm making this video today because i had to go get a medical sign off now one thing that you may not know dive instructors dive masters dive professionals every single year we have to fill out a new medical however unlike you when you put all no's and you can immediately take a class we don't have that luxury as you can see every answer on here is no and i still had to get the doctor sign off because as medical professionals we still have to have a doctor sign off regardless of whether there's yeses or noes on here but let me explain why i'm going to get a second doctor sign off today about a month ago i'm sitting in the office and i start to have extremely severe left arm pain my chest i can feel my heart actually fluttering and i become very very lethargic and of course i fall back in my chair and while I'm laying there in my chair, I'm conscious, you know, I, I got a pretty good idea of what's going on. I am a former EMT, I'm a former uh, level one EMS instructor here in the state, and I got a good idea of what's going on, but that actually scared me because I'm very young. And I truly thought I was having a heart attack. And so I looked at my dad who's sitting next to me at his, at his desk, and he too is a former EMT. And I said, I might be having a heart attack. Do we got any aspirin? you know do we have something and so he rushes upstairs he gets some aspirin i pop it 20 minutes later i pop up feeling like a million bucks and you know against my better judgment what i should have done 
was dial 911. That's it. That was the first thing I should have done was dial 911, got the paramedics out there, have them put a monitor on me to see what was going on inside my in my chest. Um, but I didn't do that. I, you know, I'm very honorary. I'm very stubborn. I didn't do it. Um, so this goes on for about a month, and it's happening about every other day. I'm starting to have these symptoms. Well, then it gets even a, a lot worse than that. Uh, I start to become extremely lethargic when it happens. My my chest is just pounding. So eventually, my wife talks me into going to my doctor. I go to the doctor, and of course, I'm not having a heart attack. They can't explain what it is. They don't know if I've strained a muscle in my left arm. They don't know if it's because I'm dehydrated because I work out in the sun most of the day. They don't really know what it is. But considering that everything was okay here, they signed me off to go diving again or to teach. And I have been teaching since then. Um, but to be more vigilant, I'm gonna go get another sign off. I'm gonna go get checked out again. I'm gonna get more blood work done. I've already had blood work done. It all came back perfect. Um, but I'm gonna go get more blood work. I'm gonna go have a stress test done and I'm gonna try to find out what's going on here. And this is something I wanna encourage you to do. Do not hesitate to get checked out by your doctor. You should be getting a physical every single year. If you're a professional, you're supposed to be getting a sign off every single year. And to be honest, even if you're not a professional, there's nothing wrong with getting you a medical waiver. They're free, your dive shop will print them off for you and get checked out every year. Even if you're not taking a class, this medical waiver, like I said, it's for you. It's a self-assessment for yourself to, to be able to determine whether you're gonna be safe to dive or healthy enough to dive. So don't, don't make the mistake idea, don't hesitate. Get out there, get checked out, get your medical waivers filled out and be a safe diver. But guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a big thumbs up if you understand the message that I'm trying to give you here. Um, and don't worry about your medical. We don't go out and spread your information to anybody. It literally stays in your folder. If another instructor takes you over as a student, they're gonna see it. If we get audited by the training agency, they're gonna see it. Outside of that, your medical information is protected. And there's really nothing on there other than, you know, breathing issues, heart problems, things like that that they're asking. Um, they've actually even took the COVID information off of it. So they're not even asking that anymore. But guys, get out there, get checked out, stay as safe as you can in a diver, have fun with it, and continue to grow and educate yourself as well. Because I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.